We're on now and bring in John Casey, author of the new book, Dark Winter. We're going to talk about this new Duke University study looking at a thousand years of temperature records that show global warming, much to some chagrin, has actually slowed down as of late. John, it's good to have you with us as always. What are this, what's this new Duke study mostly based on here? Where are they getting their numbers from? Well, they're getting their numbers by going back in history and examining isotopes of various chemicals uh, that have given a proxy signature, if you will, for temperatures in the far distant past. And how is this new study being greeted by those currently in the debate? Well, certainly the uh, warmest community uh, takes out of that study what they want to hear, and the uh, rest of the community, those that oppose the warmest, likewise. But unfortunately, neither of those two communities in that study really talk about the uh, new climate that has already begun, one of very difficult cold for the next 30 years. That's my only regret about that study. And so you think there's a glaring omission there. Is anybody else besides you in your book actually focusing as much attention as you think it warrants on that particular issue? Uh, when we began this effort eight years ago, uh, Effective Sunday, as a matter of fact, was our anniversary, the uh, number was near zero. There was hardly anyone talking about it, although there had been prior science research, many peer-reviewed papers, but they were buried in the science journals and they were never reported on. In the intervening eight years, however, we've seen a lot of progress. There's a host of new uh, science data and research that's come out. I've posted many of the scientists on our website at spaceandscience.net to give people a glimpse of others who are out there saying the same thing, that a new cold era has begun. Well, sometimes it takes a little while to change people's minds. I do want to also want to talk a little bit about President Obama talking about uh, climate change at the correspondence dinner over the weekend. Let's play that clip and take a listen. Every serious scientist says we need to act. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. Miami floods on a sunny day, and instead of doing anything about it, we've got elected officials throwing snowballs in the Senate. Okay, okay, Mr. It's a, okay I, I think I got it, bro. I, it is crazy. Well, we heard President Obama. It seemed like he really was angry there, even though he had his uh, famous anger translator there. But he talked about Miami a little bit, John. It is true that Miami is spending millions of dollars, though, on flood prevention. Are they wasting their money? Uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, they are wasting their money, dramatically so, if they're going ahead with their billion-dollar dikes around southeastern Florida. Uh, that's simply not necessary. Uh, Miami, of course, is subject to regional tides and other variations that are not part of climate change whatsoever. Uh, back in August of 2013, I held a news conference in the greater Miami area with other scientists where we announced that global sea levels were in fact going to be dropping uh, fairly steeply between now and the 2030s. So there's really no reason to be concerned about sea levels in Miami and Florida or anywhere else in the world uh, over the next 30 years. Well, it would not be the first time that somebody has accused Miami of wasting a little taxpayer money uh, down there uh, in South Florida. John Casey, thanks so much for being back with us. Always good to check in with you when uh, climate change news comes to the fore, as it did with this Duke University study, saying that climate change and global warming not happening as fast as many scientists do predict. John Casey, thanks so much for being with us. He's also the president of Space and Science Research Corporation, author of Dark Winter, and runs Space and Science. Dot net. All right, be sure to get your uh, copy of Dark Winter by visiting newsmax.com backslash Dark Winter. Again, a goodbye to